Hello guys and welcome to another video with a new build for one of the most beloved guns in the game, the Rust 79U, which I believe has the best hipfire in the game. So this is the build that I made and as always it's a hipfire based build with a bit of an extra damage. And I have to point something important about the Rust gunsmith build. In order to have extra damage bonus then you need both the monolithic suppressor and the marksman attachment. And if you use one without the other then they will have no effect at close range. And obviously when it comes to SMGs close range is all what we care about. So make sure you have both attachments if you want the extra damage to work within 15 meters. Another thing worth mentioning is that I didn't use the Merc foregrip which gives extra hipfire accuracy. And the reason for that is because the Rust hipfire is just too good to the point where you don't even need it. The MIP laser is more than enough. And instead I went for the Nostalk just to get the bonus movement speed. Because we lost 3 from using the marksman and 1 from using the extended mark. That's a total of minus 4 movement speed. And the Nostock perfectly compensates for that loss. So as always we'll compare it to the king himself. The Fennec. And I know it's not a fair comparison, I thought about comparing it to the QQ9 but I'll do that in another video. And after we're done comparing, we'll see this gun in action in a game with a lot of enemies and a lot of kills that will hopefully demonstrate the power of the Rust 79U. I hope you guys find it useful and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's get started. Let's start with the fire rate. The Fennec wins with 1140 rounds per minute. As for the Rust, the fire rate is average at 783 rounds per minute. Moving on to the damage test, I have to remind you that all these test results are against an enemy with 300 HP. And this time we'll test the damage at 10 meters range and 20 meters range. So starting with the 10 meters range, you can see that the Fennec completely dominates, which is something to be expected. It wins in every single part of the body and by a big difference. Then at 20 meters range, the Fennec still wins in every part of the body except the arms and legs. But this time the difference isn't that much because if you notice, the Rust damage results are exactly the same at both ranges. And that's something special about this gun. It has a good range that allows it to maintain the same damage at both ranges. Next we have the hipfire comparison and we already know that the Rust is the king of hipfire. So if we put the crosshairs next to each other you can clearly see that the Rust has much smaller crosshairs than the Fennec. Keep in mind as I mentioned in the start I'm not even using the Merc foregrip. If you want extra hipfire accuracy you can replace it with the stock. But I don't think you're gonna need it especially if you use a hipfire mod. So to sum it up for you the Fennec has faster killing time and faster mobility. As for the Rust it has better hipfire accuracy, bigger mag size and overall it's easier to control with both hipfire and ADS. So my overall opinion is that I think the Fennec is perfect when you're hugging the enemy within 15 meters and it's better to counter shotgun users. As for the Rust it's better at ranges beyond 15 meters because it allows you to hit more shots. And I'm not saying it's bad within 15 meters it's still good but definitely not better than the Fennec. As for the mods I used the hipfire mod followed by an extender mod and a range mod. That was all for the comparison. Now let's move on to the gameplay and let's see the Rust in action. Not only the loadout rust, but also be using the normal ground loot rust. So we landed in Rivertown and our squad had a bit of a rough start against some good enemies. I was really surprised because there were so many enemies in here but then all of a sudden everyone just vanished and I have no idea where they went. So we left the area and we headed towards the next objective which is upgrading our skills. And after we did we got ourselves some more action. There's two, yeah, yeah. Nice. 
Are you up? One of the disadvantages of pumped class is that your accuracy becomes lower when you fly. But overall, the enemy I faced had a really good aim. Luckily, my teammates finished the job and they revived me on time. I got a legendary loadout M4 from the enemy and he was using my build, so it was perfect. Then I got my Rust loadout from the airdrop and after that I headed towards number one who got killed by a squad in fire and rain. I got his tag and I went in for the kills. Okay, I see him. Okay, it's two T1. Engaging the enemy. Enemy eliminated. Nice. Um, they're, they're coming, they're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was camping on top this entire time since I arrived to this house. Sadly for him, I heard him as I was about to leave the area. Moving on to the final stages of the game, we were up against a full squad at the gas station area.
I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you like the build. To be totally honest with you, the Rust is a fun gun. Good accuracy and a huge mag that allows you to kill multiple enemies without reloading. But I wouldn't use it over the Fennec if I'm playing competitively or when I know I'm against sweary players. It's just good for a change. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.